Recent discoveries made by the James Webb Space Telescope have shed new light on the possibility of life beyond Earth and challenged our understanding of the universe. The telescope has identified six galaxies that exist half a billion years after the Big Bang, which are up to ten times larger than our Milky Way galaxy. These ancient galaxies formed just 500 million years after the Big Bang and contain populations of tens or even hundreds of billions of stars. American theoretical physicist Mikio Kaku has expressed his astonishment at this groundbreaking discovery that could potentially revolutionize our knowledge of the universe. The James Webb Space Telescope, a $10 billion project launched by NASA in December 2021, has detected these colossal galaxies that are comparable in size to our own Milky Way. What makes this discovery even more remarkable is that the mass of stars within some of these galaxies is not just a few times larger than our Sun, but several billion times larger. In fact, one of these galaxies could even have a mass of stars up to a staggering 100 billion times larger than our Sun. To put this into perspective, our Milky Way has a mass of stars that is around 60 billion times that of our Sun. This extraordinary finding challenges our current understanding of galaxy formation and may require a reassessment of the basic principles of cosmology. Scientists involved in this project have named these galaxies Universe Breakers because if they are confirmed to be real, it could completely reshape our understanding of how galaxies form. It is an incredibly exciting time for cosmology as these new revelations have the potential to unveil previously unknown aspects of the cosmos. The James Webb Space Telescope's observations offer us a glimpse into the early stages of the universe and raise questions about the origins of life and the formation of galaxies. These discoveries may pave the way for further exploration and deeper understanding of the vastness and complexity of our universe. The universe originated from a hot and dense point 13.7 billion years ago. It rapidly expanded, doubling in size over 90 times during its early stages. As matter formed and the universe cooled, a moment known as recombination occurred, where electrons combined with nuclei to form atoms, making the universe transparent. Following this, a period known as the Dark Ages commenced, characterized by darkness before stars and galaxies emerged. Around 150 to 400 million years later, the universe began emerging from this darkness in a phase called reionization. Fast forward 9 billion years after the Big Bang and our solar system came into existence. However, the discovery of these new galaxies, which are approximately 13.5 billion years old, conflicts with 99.9% .9 of current cosmological models. This discrepancy indicates that either the models will need revision or the scientific theory of galaxy formation needs a complete revaluation. This revelation challenges our previous understanding of the Dark Ages, suggesting that star formation began much earlier than previously believed. The Dark Ages lasted from about 380,000 to 150 million years after the Big Bang and the first stars likely began forming around 180 million years after the Big Bang, signifying the end of this period. The implications of these new galaxy discoveries extend beyond our understanding of cosmology. They could potentially reshape our knowledge of the universe and its complexities. Additionally, the age of our own Milky Way has been determined to be shocking, with some parts forming just 800 million years after the Big Bang. These findings have opened up new possibilities for research and further exploration of the cosmos. It is clear that these discoveries challenge our existing understanding and encourage us to delve deeper into the mysteries of our universe. Scientists have been diligently reviewing their work and data for errors, and so far, their findings and interpretations have remained solid. The possibility of rewriting all history books sounds daunting and researchers are hoping that any discrepancies found are due to human error rather than a complete revaluation of our understanding. While most of these celestial objects seem to be galaxies, there is a possibility that some of them could be enormous quasars or supermassive black holes, which raises more questions than answers. The concentration of mass in one place at such an early stage in the universe's history is difficult to explain. If confirmed as supermassive black holes, 
it could require a revision of our current understanding of these cosmic entities. Before this groundbreaking discovery, the James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, and Hubble had already made astonishing findings. Last year, the JWST discovered an incredibly old galaxy called Blast Z13, dating back over 13 billion years, just 300 million years after the Big Bang. Glass Z13 is not your typical galaxy. Despite its age, it has a mass exceeding 1 billion suns, yet it is smaller in size than our own Milky Way. Additionally, another ancient galaxy called Glass Z11, around the same age as the previous record holder GNZ11, was also discovered. GNZ11, found by Hubble in 2016, is 13.4 billion years old and formed just 400 million years after the Big Bang. While significantly smaller than the Milky Way, GNZ11 is rapidly growing and forming stars at a rate 20 times greater than our galaxy. These findings provide valuable insights into the early universe and offer a glimpse into its intriguing secrets. The JWST, with its advanced infrared technology, is now tasked with capturing even better images of the early universe. Infrared light is perfect for detecting light that has traveled for billions of years, stretched out by the expansion of space-time. As the light stretches, its wavelength increases, resulting in a redder appearance, known as redshift. This redshift phenomenon allows astronomers to observe galaxies further away and back in time. Glass Z13 has a redshift of 13, while GNZ11 has a redshift of 11. By examining redshift, Astronomers can study the early universe, including the emission of ultraviolet light from the first stars that has been redshifted into the infrared part of the spectrum. The JWST's infrared capabilities enable it to study these distant and ancient galaxies, giving us a glimpse into the previously unseen early universe. In addition to these remarkable findings, the JWST's Advanced Deep Extragalactic Survey, JDS, has confirmed distance estimates for four more galaxies. One of these galaxies has a remarkable redshift value of 13.2, allowing us to see it as it appeared just 320 million years after the Big Bang. Astronomers are thrilled with this breakthrough, which they have been anticipating for decades. The recent discovery of a galaxy with a redshift of 16.4, the highest ever detected, is a testament to the rapid advancements in high redshift galaxy studies. The James Webb Space Telescope has played a crucial role in uncovering these groundbreaking findings, with ongoing surveys expected to reveal even more candidates. However, caution must be exercised in this field, as mistakes can lead to different outcomes. Astronomers continue to request more telescope time and submit proposals for future observations despite tensions and concerns about the pace of the field. These discoveries have challenged our understanding of the early universe, with suggestions that galaxy formation may have begun as early as a redshift of 20, just 180 million years after the Big Bang. The James Webb Space Telescope's ability to see further back in time than previously thought has revealed unexpected insights and mysteries. As the race to explore the early universe continues, there is anticipation for even more groundbreaking discoveries. The James Webb Space Telescope remains at the forefront of this exciting journey.